Welcome to Sailor Samara's Mooney Merchandise, Collection, Cosplay, and a whole lot more. Hi everybody! Today we are going to be reviewing some more Petite Shara figures. And these are the brand new set. This is School Life Volume 2. Um, these are by Mega House, of course. These include the characters in their school uniforms and such, and they're extremely cute. Uh, they did come out with the first set. These are the first ones they come out with. And these are really lovely. And both of these sets do come with a limited edition release by Premium Bendai. But these are the normal blind box versions. And I got these from Ami Ami, like I do most of the petites that I order. But uh, these are really nice, and I wanted to show them and give my little thoughts about them. But first, we'll take a very good close up of the box. So here's the box, and as you can see, these are all the different characters that you get. You get Usagi, Chibiusa, Haruka, Mishiru, Satsuna, and Hotaru. And these do come with different versions. There is, of course, the traditional open and winking eyes set. And they are all cute in their own right. I really like the open eyes set, preferably myself. But this time, there is supposed to be a mixture of both figures in uh, each box, so you get a combination of different ones. And then here are the sides featuring more pictures of them. On the back. And the other side. And the bottom is really cute. It actually has two bows on the bottom, which is kind of a nice little extra touch. So we'll open the box. And there you can see the little school life. This is what the box looks like that you get with each one. It does show each one from the set that you can get on both sides. It does show that you do get Diana in the set with Chibiusa. And then the bo box top actually has the Toei sticker to show that it's an official release item. If you get a box that does not have a Toei sticker, it might be a bootleg, so watch out for that. But we'll open these up and take a look at the figures themselves. So here are all the figures, and as you can see, I kind of got a mixture of set A and set B. Um, some of them do have open eyes and some of them do not. So we'll take a look at Sailor Moon first. Now this particular figure is just absolutely adorable. She's got her little tongue sticking out. And I think that's just incredibly cute. She's got her little ice cream cone and she's making a cute little like semi-jumping pose, which I really like. And she has both of her eyes open. And it's just all around a cute little figure. I did notice I do have a little bit of a paint uh, defect on the top of her head, which I actually did kind of rub off and fix a little bit. So these figures aren't always perfect, but most of the time I don't have any issues with the quality of these. But um, the stands of these were actually a little tougher to put together. I'm not sure why, but they decided to tighten this part of the stand on, on the set, whereas the other ones were a little bit looser. But they were still pretty fairly easy to put together. Also, the bottoms of the stands are a little cloudier. So this is one of the stands from the first School Life set. And as you can see, this one's a little bit more clear and this one's a little cloudier. Um, there's some good and bad in that because I do love the bow design on this particular one. You can kind of see it there. And this one's a little bit more translucent, so you can't really see it quite as detailed. And this one, of course, does have a different uh, locket, where this one has her cosmic heart on that one. But uh, it is still pretty cute, and I, and I don't really mind the stands. At first, I thought they kind of looked cheap, but in like brighter light, they actually look much better. And then this one, of course, is Shibiusa. And this one is a winking one. She's kind of making a peace sign kind of thing with her hands. And it's a really cute pose. You can definitely tell the airbrushing color difference in her hair, which I like. And it does have her little locket on her bow on her stand. And she does come with Diana to go with her. 
which is really cute because we do have Luna and Artemis in these already too, so they go together really well. Something I've noticed with the bootleg versions of these, now this set doesn't have, particularly have a bootleg set just yet, but they probably will eventually. Um, they've been changing the colors of the cat stands for some reason. They are uh, supposed to be clear in the official ones, so that's just something to look out for if you're trying to find official versions. So we'll do Hotaru next. And she's really lovely. She has a planetary symbol on her bow right here. And this is a winking one as well. And she's got her little outfit on she wears to school. And it's really, really cute. And the paint job on these are really, really detailed and nice. Just like the other ones. I really like them. It's a really cute figure of her. And now Setsuna. She's got on her little teaching outfit that she wears. She's got a little bag that she's holding. And she does have the little planetary symbol on her stand there. And she's got a really nice looking face. I really like this one a lot. Of course, I'm a big Pluto fan, so I really, really, really love the figures of her. She's really nicely detailed. And I guess we'll do these two together since they go to well together. But here's Haruka, and she does have her little planetary symbol on her stand there. And she's got on her suit and she wears of course the boy version of the school suit that they wear and she looks really nice and of course it's one of the winking ones and it has michiru and she's got on the girl uniform of course and here's her planetary symbol there on her stand and they're really really adorable so here's the entire set together again so you can see them better. So if you want to get get these, I definitely recommend them. Of course, the only problem I have, of course, is the changing of the stands. So here's like all the other ones in the school life set. I'm trying to get them in frame here. So you can kind of see them all. And of course you always get an extra Usagi or Sailor Moon or whatever <laughs> in each set. And the stands of these, the other set, are very loose compared to the second set. Now, in case you're wondering, there are limited edition sets of these. The limited edition for School Life Set 1 included the same figures but with different poses. And Rey was, of course, in an entirely different outfit. This is her priestess outfit. So I actually bought this one separate from the set. And then, of course, you got Luna in School Life Set 1, and then the limited edition set for that one came with Artemis. So I actually bought him separate as well, so then I would have both of the cats. And they have funny little poses, which is cute. So, but uh, there's also a premium Bendai limited edition set for School Life Set 2. But they were kind of cheap with that one. You only got a guaranteed set A with the limited edition set for those. So those ones weren't really all that appealing to me. So I didn't really care too much about trying to get those. But these are adorable. And I do think if you can get the blind box versions, it's definitely worth it. They do have really good paints, really good poses. So yeah. They're really, really nice, and I'm looking forward to all the future sets that's getting ready to release. I have most of them pre-ordered, so when I get them, I definitely would do reviews of them as well. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think of these new figures. But I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye!